So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. If you're new to this channel, my name is Lord Nathan Elliott. That's right, guys, I'm now a Lord. And this video is sponsored by Established Titles. First thing we need to do is get in the 754 and go put an implement on the back of it and get rid of that pine log. I can't remember what I was going to do with that thing. Let's go ahead and warm up the tractor. I think it's low on fuel. This thing holds 25 gallons. That's a lot of diesel. And in today's prices, that's pretty expensive. That's over $100. Quick question, what are you guys out there paying for diesel right now? Farm diesel right now in Northeast Tennessee is about $4.39 a gallon. The commercial stuff, I say commercial stuff, but the stuff you get at a gas station is about $4.79. see i got about a quarter of a tank that's enough to get us by today for what we need to do man it's hot out here it's november the third and it's 70 degrees nice weather i think on this pine log pick it up right there i'll take it up to the sawmill we'll saw it here at the end of the day i need to make some one by sixes for the chicken house See if we can get turned around here. That's one thing about my setup. I wish I had more room, guys. You can never have a much room, or enough room, rather. Say that right. When you run a sawmill, you can have a football field, and you want two of them. Tell you what, guys, driving this tractor is as fun as it looks. I'll tell you that. Very powerful machine, 75 horsepower. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Let's go put this attachment on. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize I left you up here. Let's go. Today's video was sponsored by our friends at Established Titles, and what they do is support Scotland woodlands and also global reforestation efforts. Now this project is based on a historic Scottish custom, where landowners are referred to as lards or lords and ladies in English. These title pads give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number. On a private estate in Scotland, and you get this certificate as well, that also has your name on it and also the location of your plot number. And the best thing about it is for me, it says Lord Nathan Elliott. So from now on in the comments, you must address me as Lord from this day forward. They also plant a tree with every order and work with global charities. One tree planted and trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. Guys, I think this makes a really cool gift because it would be really interesting to give somebody this plot and have it in their name, then when they go get a credit card or airplane tickets, they can put the title of Lord or Lady in front of their name. Established Titles is supporting reforestation, which is very important for sawmills. You gotta have trees to cut or you're out of business. And by planting a tree for every plot that you do purchase, I think that's pretty neat that they're doing that. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes or walking distance. Depending upon how many of you want to become a lord or lady, we can build our own little out of the woods kingdom. Now, I kinda like the sound of that. Lord Nathan, out of the woods kingdom in Scotland. My small sawmill empire. I think that's pretty neat right there. I like this guys, I think I'm gonna get these for my parents. And like I was saying, this makes an amazing last minute gift Established Titles is actually running a massive Black Friday sale this month. So if you use the code out of the woods, you get an additional 10% off. Go to establishedtitles.com slash out of the woods to get your gifts now and help support the channel. And friends, like I always say on the channel, if you support my sponsors, you're help keeping me up here at the sawmill making videos for you guys. So this is a win-win. You get a piece of land in Scotland, a square foot, 
You also get a tree put in your name planted somewhere in the world, not just in Scotland. It could be planted anywhere. And most importantly, you get the title of Lord or Lady. And also, you get this certificate as well so you can prove it to people in case somebody doubts you. What we're looking at is the Titan Attachments land plane. I ordered this back in the springtime. I'm just now getting around to using it because our road coming into the farm is in pretty good shape, actually. I think, if I remember right, let me look on the tag, 540 pounds, and I believe this is a six-footer. I've been using a box blade here for a long time, but people swear by these land planes being a lot better. So bear with me here for a few minutes, and I'll see if I can get this thing hooked up. See if this still works, guys. Nope, come on. One more try. Look at there, guys, it still works. And man, the tractor's even running. Let's get the driver's seat, friends, and put this thing to work. Well, friends, if you don't have one of these for your tractor, I highly encourage you to get one, a hydraulic top link. Yes, they are expensive. That one right there is about $300. But this is a Category 2 tractor, so a Category 1 will run you about $200, maybe $250. But friends, when you're running attachments on three-point hitch, it's a nice luxury to have. I'm running windshield washer fluid in the lubrication tank. I think the valve's on, it's on. And the main reason I'm not running diesel is because of all this talk about a diesel shortage. I don't know if it's true or not. So that was my first time using a land plane. And I think I did pretty good. The road looks okay. I got some improvements I can probably make. I need to talk to Mike Morgan about it. He's an expert and doing land plane work. He's probably done a hundred videos on that stuff. I need to talk to him about that. Friends, this is white pine. It's about nine feet long. It's a nasty log. We've got knot clusters every two or three feet right here. It's a yard tree. But around here, we don't have really good pine. I've said that in the past. The diameter on the operator's side, we're looking at 19 inches. All right, guys, I want to thank everybody on Patreon for supporting me here on the channel. I really appreciate it. And on the sawmill, we've got a Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. And I'm mentioning that because people still ask me what saw blades I use. If you want those blades, friends, give him a phone call. His cell phone number is down in the video description. And if you don't have a wood miser, let's say you run a Timber King or Norwood or even a wood miser LT10, 
He can still get you blades, so don't be discouraged if you don't have an LT70. He deals in all sizes of blades, friends, and all different kinds of meals. Give him a phone call and see if he can help you out. 